It is everybody's favorite part of the show. He is everybody's favorite Twitter follow, and now it is time for him to explain some of his tweets from yesterday. Let's begin with the biggest story in the NFL, and that is that the world's biggest pop star was at a game. RC tweeted, I love that they keep showing us Kelsey's tweet so we can see the real rock star in the stadium. Donna Kelsey is an absolute <laughs> rock star. Explain that yeah, to me. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, we all excited. Taylor Swift is there. Taylor Swift is there. Everybody saw Taylor Swift the entire offseason. She <laughs> just made a billion dollars, Greeny, <laughs> selling out arenas everywhere. But who's important? It's Donna Kelsey, who has all the commercials about soup. Donna Kelsey, who had two sons in the Super Bowl. Donna Kelsey. Hey, you want to talk about a star? How about her birth giving? That that's who the star is. And so everybody, oh, Taylor Swift is there. And who is this dude? He looks like a skinny Kamaro Uzman. Nobody cares about him. Nobody. All we care about is Donna. Thinking Donna. And I'm so happy we finally got to see more of her because she deserves it. Well, why, why Today, they... she raised two Hall of Famers, Greeny. I know. I know. Tell me how many Hall of Famers Taylor Swift raised. None. Well, not Zero. Yet. Well, give her some time. Zero. We'll see what winds up happening. All right, let's go to the next one. <laughs> Uh, there's a Green Bay. Uh, Jordan Love done took Lambo from bruh we miss Aaron to boy I love Jordan in one quarter. What a time to be alive. I mean, can we talk about this? This team is down 17 to 0. Derek Carr gets hurt. Jordan Love says, you know what? I'm going YOLO. He starts throwing the football deep every opportunity he has, using his legs to create. Not only does, not only do they score because he has a zone read. Who's he reading on the zone read? Cam Jordan possible Hall of Famer. Who does he shake to get in the end zone? Demario Davis, possible Hall of Famer. Jordan Love is a flat-out baller, and I know it doesn't always work. Let's draft the guy. Let's sit him behind a Hall of Famer. He'll be great, but Green Bay somehow has something in the water or something in the cheese that makes it work. All right, I'm confused because I'm looking at the next one, and it's mine. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you know this. They let me host shows too now. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> Here we go. The Jets' offensive line is horrific. The defense isn't as good as they think they are. And the quarterback doesn't belong in the NFL. Aside from those, we're doing great over here. Greeny, explain your tweet. Some things I think don't really need to be explained. <laughs> Let's start with the offensive line. When the Jets had that ball backed up on their own goal line, I literally, you can ask my wife, you can ask my daughter, you can ask my dog. I was yelling, punt on third down. Punt on third down. You are guaranteed a safety. The fact that he didn't fumble for a touchdown is a miracle. This is my imitation. Which camera? Of Makai Becton. He's the biggest man in the entire world. Hike, this is Becton. <laughs> He's just getting shoved he backwards. DB, he plays DB. He's just getting shoved backwards on every single play. The defense, the defense, twice this season now, they have given up. Look, they're good. They're very good. But they think they're the 85 Bears. Well, you know what? You have to catch those interceptions when you have a chance to get a pick six in Dallas. You have to not just let the 59-yard touchdown from a guy named Farrell <laughs> ruin the game. Farrell's are important. they got to be that good. And then the quarterback, where do I begin? I mean, it, he is... To qu <laughs> I don't even know what to say. He doesn't belong on an NFL field. He doesn't belong on a team. It's ridiculous. Everyone can see it, and it is going to ruin the entire franchise because this season is over, but I'm telling you, you're going to lose Garrett, and you're going to lose uh, Sauce, and you're going to lose everybody good on that team Speaking because they're all going to give up. Where was Zach Wilson after the game? <laughs> I'm just going to continue up. doing Greeny's job because he's better at my job than me. Yeah, Wait so a Wait a minute, Greedy. That pass what? that you did. Yeah. The back pedal. The back pedal. I'm Offensive sweating. tackle DB. Yeah. He's so That's big. Hard, isn't it? It's How hard does he that. get moved that easily? I mean, I'm just watching. It's literally. Here comes Matthew Judon. Hike. 